Stress is a part of all of our lives, no question. But while you may think of it as only mental or emotional, it can also take a physical toll on your body. Here with us today is Dr. Felice Carlton, who is CEO of Felice Carlton Enterprises, to discuss the lesser known physical symptoms that can cause stress in our bodies. And Dr. Carlton, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for Tell having me. Tell us a little me. bit about what you do and, and why stress is part of your job. Okay, um, I have a dual role. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, speaker and health advisor. So clinically, people come to me with generalized symptoms, things that they think are a result of disease, but they actually are a result of stress. Oftentimes I see diarrhea, constipation, headaches that just will not go away, st neck stiffness and pain that um, oftentimes ladies carry their stress in this general area. People who cannot sleep, mm -hmm. there are a lot of anxiety, depression, um, people who think there's something wrong with them, but maybe their, their bodies just don't feel the same way they once did, fatigue, and they think that it's because of disease, but mm -hmm. in all honesty, when I dig a little deeper, I realize it's all stress related. So you mm -hmm. are in a really unique position because mm -hmm. you have the medical training yes. to diagnose what's not there, Correct. and then to look inside and say, hey, this, this is stress. What are some of the top symptoms of stress in our bodies? Um, some of the top symptoms, I'll give you an example of a, a patient situation. I had a lady come to me, she had severe headache, this would not go away, constipation and neck pain. And when I dug a little deeper, I said, well, how's your stress level? And then I realized she was going through a nasty divorce. Um, she lost her home in the last hurricane. Now she's a single mom of three trying to find a home and she didn't realize, you know, she's like, I don't understand why my head hurts. Well, stress, 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 stress. exactly. Yeah. So stress level was so high, it caused all these muscles in her neck to tighten up. It squeezed the nerves in the back of her head, which made a shooting headache that she could not get rid of. So I'm not a person that likes to give medications to cover symptoms. I like to find out what is the root cause? How can we fix it? So when we address the stress that helped her other symptoms, so yeah. how do you address the stress with people who might not want to be on medication mm -hmm. or take more drastic measures? Um, well, one, I kind of look at each person differently, mm -hmm. you know, so I work in rural North Carolina, so resources look like access to care is a, an issue for some of those clients. Um, however, for people who that's not an issue for them, there I encourage things like exercising, I encourage deep breathing, I encourage you to get away, because oftentimes in my, in my business, Felice Carlson Enterprises, I work with high achieving professional women. Mm -hmm. And so these women are beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, they're struggling struggling with weight gain, fatigue, they're exhausted, and everyone looks up to them so they feel like they have no one they can go to for help. So for those ladies, I always ask, when is the last time you've had a vacation? Mm -hmm. When is the last time, we live near a beach, when is the last time you've literally gone to the beach and just unplugged? No cell phone, no email. How much sleep no do you get on a daily basis? Exactly, yeah. how much sleep do you get on a daily basis? Um, what are you, when's the last time you had a massage? Mm -hmm. When's the last time you carved out time for you and your schedule and you did not allow anyone else to fill up that time? Wow, you sound mm -hmm. like somebody that so many people need to talk to. How can they get in touch? <laughs> with you? Um, actually, I created a free offer for the WWAY viewers, and it's www.stressfreewomen.com. It has the top 10 symptoms of stress that I see clinically, and those people who um, complete the assessment will have my direct email address, my social media contact information, and it'll be the perfect way to stay connected with me. That sounds fantastic. Dr. Carlton, mm. thank you so much. I feel like you and I need to have a private conversation yes. after, during the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate thank your you. insight. It's been such a pleasure. Oh, absolutely. It's wonderful <laughs> to meet you.